Hello, um, in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to make a title sequence that uses interference and glitching effects. So it's going to look something like this. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? Um, well, what I've done is I've got my title sequence that I've generated uh, earlier and I'm going to add the glitching effects and I've made a little rectangle um, and then we're going to take that rectangle and we're going to hit L to make a replicator. We've got I'm going to set it to random fill uh, and I'm going to set my size to the dimensions of my project which is 1920 by 1080 I'm going to cut it down to 10 frames, that replicator, just by hitting, going to frame 10 and hitting O. So I'm going to animate the number of points. So I'm going to click on the points there. I'm going to go to frame 10. And then I'm going to increase the number of points uh, all the way up to about there, let's say. But I'm also going to animate the scale. So I'm going to click on here, go back to frame 10, and I'm going to have a larger scale at the end, like so, so that now it looks like that. What we next need to do is to add a, um, I'm sorry, to add an offset filter. So let's type offset. So let's do offset there. And we want to offset, we sort of basically want to just put, add some randomness to this. And the nice thing about the offset is it, uh, you don't have to, it, it, you're effectively moving the elements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a randomized behavior to that uh, vertical offset. So now that is completely random. Okay, now let's apply this as an image mask to our dark skies layer. So add image mask and then I'm going to drag that replicator into the image mask well. And you'll see that that brings on the image from black. Let's also add a bad TV effect to the image. I don't want to be relying on bad TV, but um, it's useful in conjunction with what we're, what we're doing. So let's add that. Let's come to the inspector. Let's lose that roll because I don't want that. And then I'm going to chop off the bad TV. So it's just happening through that and one frame after. Now what I want to do is I want to break up the edges of these rather square boxes and I'm going to do that by applying another filter to my replicator uh, and this time I'm going to use the wave filter. Okay, in the moment it's making much too large a wave so I'm going to shorten the wavelength right down. So now you can see that I'm getting I'm getting something like scan lines coming off the edge of those. So there we go, that's looking quite nice because we've got that much more organic looking breakup. Okay, so that's our intro sorted out. Uh, obviously we could just quite easily copy that um, and use it for the end as well. As I say, I didn't want to overdo the, the bad TV, but I just want to show you a trick that we're then going to use on the rest of the project. So if I come to bad TV, I'm going to put it across my entire image layer Okay, um, I don't want it there the whole time. I want it to just appear periodically. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to come to my mix value here and I'm going to add a uh, randomize uh, behavior to it. And I'm going to make that subtract and 100%. So now it's sort of randomly appearing and disappearing but it's it's actually fading up and down if we look at the um, mix value 
it's sliding up and down between 0 and 100 and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another behavior to my mix value and this time it's a fun one called quantize uh, and quantize does a very interesting thing which is it sets the value to be in steps so that means that it's either going to be naught or it's going to be 100%. So now we press play. We're getting those nice, random, and just occasional bad TV glitches. So uh, if you remember that randomize, quantize trick, uh, we're going to use that again. But first of all, we're going to make another replicator. Um, we can use our same original cell source. Uh, I'm going to come with random fill again. And we are going to have lots of random scale, which I think I forgot to put on in the, the other version. I should, have, I should have added random scale. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another offset to that to get that. Um, and as we did before, I'm going to add a randomized behavior to the vertical offset. I'm going to duplicate that um, and add one to the horizontal offset as well. Let's have a lot of noise on both of them. Let's go to add and subtract on both these values. And what am I going to do with that? Well, I'm going to um, turn back on my image layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone it and I'm going to increase the size of that because I want these uh, I want little blocks of slightly larger size so I'm going to do that and I'm going to just offset it as well a bit maybe just randomly and then I'm going to add an image mask like so and I'm going to use that new replicator which I probably should have named to add those blocks. Just to add a bit more interest to that, I'm going to come to the drop shadow and add a little bit of that. Let's bring it right up. I'm going to add that bad TV to that layer as well so that it's running continuously in there. Um, now what we need to do is we need to add that same uh, randomized quantize thing to the opacity of this layer. So let's add a randomize there and again we want to randomize subtract so we're subtracting from the opacity uh, and we're going to come back again not to the bad TV mix but to the sorry back to the opacity of the layer and add our good old friend quantize and set that to 100 again and now we've got those random blocks appearing just like that if we don't like what it's doing we can hit the uh, the random seed of that uh, randomize behavior and they'll they'll turn up in a different place so you can just keep clicking that random seed until you get until you get the them appearing when you when when you want them I'm going to add another clone I'm going to move that group oops sorry up above and I'm going to apply a color correction filter to this a few saturation and I'm going to reduce the saturation a bit and increase the value all the way up um, and I'm going to uh, duplicate this I'm going to call that replicator blocks just so we don't get confused and uh, no, replicator scale I'll call that and then duplicate it and call it replicator brightness and I'm going to use that but you just set an image mask with that layer um, replicator brightness drag that into the image well so yeah. now I've got these little bright ones um, I, I want these to be really nice and small um, so what we'll do is we'll come down and just really shrink those down like that maybe um, and I'm going to do the same trick again I'm going to add a randomize to the 
uh, opacity, set that to 100 and subtract. And then I'm also going to come to the opacity and use, yes, you guessed it, quantize and set that to 100. And now when we play it, we have little white sparks, which I think are very nice as well. Really, from this point on, you could go and just um, add as many different elements as you want. You could, you know, if you don't want those bright bits appearing all the way through, you just want a little burst there. You could take this layer and just shorten it down like so. Um, then again, we could even, you know, if you wanted it to come back in again right at the end, you could um, duplicate that layer and, and shift it along. We can, we can change the timing of those layers just by, by sliding them along. OK, I hope that's uh, have been of interest um, and has sort of sparked some ideas uh, for you. Um, thanks very much for watching.